and the White Hawk, which is pulling up here. One thing you'll notice right away as it's pulling up here is the automotive glass windshield in the front. That's almost always going to be the headboard of your bed. So that's one neat feature, a difference between the White Hawk and the Feather. You're moving up a trim line from the Feather, so it's going to be a little bit bigger, beefier RV. It's going to be super lightweight, but super heavyweight on features. A little bit taller ceiling, radius ceiling, some other nice appointments throughout. Again, moving up a trim line from the Feather to the White Hawk. So again, and this is a neat thing, you know, Headboard's right up here in front, right in front where the uh, automotive glass windshield is so you can lay there and look up at the stars. It's really a neat feature. Check out the nice uh, uh, marine grade LED lighting up here and courtesy lights in front. Very nice, very classy. And as always with Jayco fiberglass walls, these are vacuum bonded walls instead of pinch rolled like the other guys do. It's, it's an expensive and time-consuming process, but it's worth it in the long run because it virtually eliminates the possibility of this wall delaminating over time. Check out the storage here. Jayco thinks of everything. You always need a table, and there's a table slot right here and a handy place to store it. So whether you need a, a table out here on the patio side or extra prep area inside, you've always got a table right here. Pass-through storage that goes all the way to the other side there for longer items, fishing poles, and those kinds of things. Coming back over here, this is the 26RK unit. It's rear kitchen, which I'll show you the rear kitchen on the inside, but we have an outdoor kitchen too. Pull-out cooktop right here, refrigerator here, and a little basin sink right here. So you can do your cooking out here, uh, keep the smell and the heat outside instead of inside the RV. This is very handy, and of course, it's all underneath the awning. Got an LED light strip, and as you can see, integrated speakers on the outside of the coach here. I should mention that this unit's right at 7,000 pounds, about 31 feet long, okay? Coming back around here is the main entrance. Super easy to use these steps. Let's go in and have a quick look on the inside. This has a really nice living room feel to it. If you look around, um, get some lights here. Thank you, Brian. This has, this is a classic couples camper. You've got a huge entertainment center here, fireplace, right across from these reclining chairs. It makes a really comfortable living room setting. You've got table and chairs here, of course, which are expandable, and then an ottoman over here, which does have storage underneath it. So you can pull that out and use it as an ottoman or use it as a bench seat right there. This expands out if you need it to be. Rear kitchen again, this is the 26RK, so your kitchen is in the back of the coach. Again, seamless countertop here, cutting board and drying rack side by side, three burner cooktop right here, and nice sized oven below. RV refrigerator, gas electric. This happens to be the cashmere cottage decor, so it's got a nice wood grain texture to it. This also comes in the modern farmhouse, which will be the next coach that we're gonna go through, but this is Cashmere Cottage. Coming back here, we've got the bath area that separates the living area from the front bedroom area. Nice glass shower doors. Again, I'm six feet tall. I have plenty of headroom here and we have a skylight up here. Room to maneuver, very classy, nice glass shower doors. Medicine cabinet here, so there's plenty of storage, toothbrushes and so on. And then behind me, you've also got deep cabinet space right here, as well as here. So even though this is a 26 RK, right around 30 feet long, it's big on storage. Coming through here, we're gonna go back into the bedroom area. You gotta love that pillow, right? So check this out. You've got 
these lights on either side. I'm tapping it once, twice, and three times for a reading light. You can adjust this around. Again, it's just touch. So, you know, boom, 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 whatever lighting scheme you like. It's the same way on both sides. And of course, we have USB charging ports on either side. Charge your gadgets and so on. Nice uh, king size bed here, and is as is often the case, always the case with Jayco. We have gas struts under here, which will lift up this bed and offer more access to more storage underneath. Easy up, easy down. Take a quick look back up in front here before we go back out again. Fireplace, it has a, has a practical use in, a, in addition to being really cozy. When you're in an RV park, paid your 50 bucks a night, turn that guy on, especially on the weather we've been having here in Texas lately. This will easily knock the chill off of this uh, RV at night. Got a Bluetooth capable uh, stereo system here. It does have an optical drive. You've got a charging port, auxiliary input, and USB, HDMI, so you can uh, plug components into this too. See this chain? Pull this, and boom. Got additional storage behind the television. Secret storage, if you will. Again, small RV, big on features. This is what I call a classic couples camper. You got the bed up here. Uh, in this case, neither of these convert to a bed, but you've got dining uh, space, recliner space here. True classic couples camper that you can pull you know, with a half ton pickup. As always, you can make sure that you can safely pull the, uh, the RV with your vehicle. We'll look it up for you, so we'll remove all the doubt. Give us a call, we'll plug in your camera, You'll <laughs> we'll plug in your automobile and make sure you can safely tow, all right? Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vod RV.